Lori and I thought it would be great to talk about um, a performance that we collaborated on in 2018, Variations on I Got Rhythm by the iconic American composer George Gershwin. What was interesting conducting it, especially with all these great musicians, is that it's actually really a nuanced piece of music, and people forget that about George Gershwin. Like, everyone knows the song, so everybody knows, like, I got rhythm, you know? But, but the way that the piece is orchestrated and the way that it's all put together is very, like, gl glamorous. I, I don't know how to put it. And, and very sophisticated, like, the sounds that you can get. So it was really interesting to conduct it that way, where there are these amazing musicians, and then you could actually work on stylistics. <laughs> well, let's not forget that it starts with the theme, which of course is performed on the piano. On the so piano. So you get uh, a first statement of the song. Yeah. And then he goes just in, into really witty and colorful directions yeah. right after that. But that first variation, right, it's like... Uh, a contrapunt, a rhythmic counterpoint between yeah. the piano and the orchestra. I mean, it's so funny that the piece is called I Got Rhythm because you really have to have <laughs> rhythm to play the piece. I mean, you have to have really good rhythm. You know, right off the bat, you're doing something intricate, and of course, jazzy syncopation is a real trademark of Gershwin. <laughs> Then that second variation, from from that, he moves into a sad waltz. Again, I don't have the theme. It's very slow in the orchestra. But what I have are kind of a sigh motive. Mm -hmm. the, the da 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 mm -hmm. da. And then there's the chinoiserie. <laughs> the Chinese variation. Yeah. Yeah. The cheerful Chinese yes, variation. Yes, yes. It's kind of exoticism with all the percussion and like the bright sounds of the xylophone and marimba and the, uh, and the woodwinds. Yeah, it's very, very colorful. And then he has me imitating woodwinds. Yeah. And that it's supposed to represent two Chinese flutes that are out of tune. So my hands are playing a half step apart, this melodic figure. It, you know, and my favorite variation though is the fourth one. Mine too. Oh, it's so Even awesome. Even though it's in the it's, orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like you got this beautiful chorale, and then you have like the swing jazz. They, at first, I really wanted to like make it sound jazzy, and I was like, no, 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 this is like New York, high society, 1930. You have to make it sound super classy and elegant. I mean, so that was really interesting. And then when you take over on your part, it totally reminds you of like Debussy or Ravel, you know, with the piano writing. And I find that really fascinating. Later on, when you get to the fifth variation, then we get to, you know, we're back to the original character and verb of the theme, mm -hmm. and then the gymnastics start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and even through the finale, I'm doing all kinds of really fun things, you know, glissandi, mm -hmm. big chords, again, syncopated with the orchestra, and, and it's, it's just such a physical blast just to play this piece. Yeah. 